Well, hello there, my fellow Drupal addicted. This is Matt Petrowski recording on behalf of Omega8.cc, where gotdrupal.com is currently hosted. Now, in this video, what I'm going to be taking a look at is using Ager, or Ager, however you want to pronounce that, on Omega8, but we're going to be accessing the database using your preferred tool. Now, I've been developing with Drupal for quite a while, and I have a tool that I like to use, which happens to be SQL Pro, pronounced S-E, or spelled S-E-Q-U-E, whatever. We'll take a look at the tool. By default, Omega 8 provides us with a tool. As I switch over to Chrome, Omega 8 provides us with access to Chive if you're on their boxes. Now, you have to know their, the host name, the username and the password in order to access the database that you want to access. And all of those are managed by Agar. Now, Agar creates them whenever you do a migration or whenever you do anything to the database where a new database is created. So for example, I recently was updating the Got Drupal website and I wanted to go in and take a look at some of the settings. And sometimes you wanna just access the database just because you want to make your own queries. So first let's take a look at how you access this information. I'm going to switch over to Forklift, which is the FTP tool that I'm using. You can see right here that my path is my Omega 8 box. That's the name that I assign it. But then everything is going to be, if you're running your own custom platforms down within data, disk, 01, which is short for Octopus first user, static, and then here is my new platform. Uh, GDP stands for Got uh, Drupal, P is for Pressflow, and then 628. That just happens to be how I named it. But the place where you're going to access your information is right here within the settings file. So as I double click this file, it's going to open it and we're going to see all of the information that I need in order to access this database. If I was using the Chive web front end, here would be my host, this would be my database name, and then this would be my password. Now all of these are assigned and created by Agar when you actually do a clone or when you do a um, migrate, everything is managed on the back end for you. Now, since I don't want to use Chive, I want to actually use my own tool, I need to be able to access this by virtue of me having a direct connection to the server itself. Now, the way that you have a direct connection is you create what's known as an SSH key. And we can see in this document that I have right behind here, this is these are the lines of information that you would need to put in a file specifically named config. And this file would be located within your home directories .ssh folder. Now, I'm not going to go into all of the details of how to set this up. You're going to be able to find this on the Omega website and in many other places. Essentially, you're going to be creating a private and public key pair. And you can see right here that the identity file that this particular entry uh, recognizes is the ID file stored right here, a .ssh ID RSA. Now, the ID RSA or DSA are the two most common. You're probably going to create an RSA key, which has your own, this is the private key, which has your own password, and it creates a companion pub key, which usually ends up with a .pub. Now, the .pub is not what you put within your config file. You simply put your private key because your computer will actually ask for the password. Now, if you put all of the pieces of information specific to your server, which we can see right here, I have a host name, which specifies my host name of where Got Drupal is hosted, the username, which happens to be 01.ftp, which is probably most likely going to be your first account, unless you have other users, and the Omega boxes run off of port 27 instead of port 22. So basically, all of these settings give us access directly to our box, provided that we've given Omega 8 your private, or your, excuse me, your public key. You, you never give anybody your private key. The key that you end up giving Omega 8 is your .pub key, or the contents of what's generated as your .pub key. They put that on your server, and once that's on your server, you get to create this sort of shortcut, or this alias of host.08, or that's what I'm using, Omega 8. So this very short version of 08 is all that I need to use when I go into my tool of choice. So let's take a look at that. So here you can see that I'm going to be using SQL Pro, S-E-Q-U-E-L Pro. 
They changed the icon uh, a little while back, but this is what makes it so nice. I can create a favorites link and you can see right here, all I have to do is click on Omega 8. Now currently it's pointing to a different database, but if I switch back over to my text file and I take a look at what the settings were for the particular database I wanted to access, in this case it's test got Drupal. I'll copy that, go back over to my tool and the username and the database is the same and I'll switch back over. I'll get my password right there, which will have changed by the time that I've released this video. And I actually don't even need this user right here. Basically the only thing that I need is that alias that I created right there of 08. Now because that uses the config file, the config file itself has all of the information that I need in order to connect. It's got the host, it's got the username that it should use, it's got my private key which matches up with the public key when it connects to the server, and up here I have the username of the database and the password of the database as well as the, C the host. I click connect and then lo and behold there I am right within my database. So here I can take a look at my users, I can take a look at my sessions, I can take a look at whatever I want to use using my preferred tool. So that's pretty much all you need to know. Other than generating the, um, your public and private key, I've given you all of the information, accessing your settings file through your FTP client and being able to get that information. Or if you're on the command line, you can get that as well through Drush. Let's take a quick look at that. I'll switch over to a terminal really quickly and we can take a look at how you would actually get that if you're on the command line. This is for those of you that are uber geeky. So I'm going to SSH into my 08 account and it's going to ask me if I want to get in. It used my key. I would go to, let's do an LL and let's go into my static and then we'll go into my GDP and it's 628 I believe and then we'll do an LL. So basically I would be able to come into this particular uh, site if I needed to. We'll hit a clear and then we'll CD into test.gotdrupal and we'll LL here. So basically I could do a cat right now of my settings and so forth which will give me all of my different settings for this file. Drush also has a command that allows you to actually test things. So if I run Drush right now, Drush is going to give me a, um, actually let's run Drush status. That's what I meant to run. That's giving me the connection of what I want to do, but it also has database. So if I just run Drush itself, it's going to give me database specific uh, or a link to a database specific command. And let's see if I can find that right here. Core, Drupal directory, make. I've seen it in here before. I don't use it a whole lot. SQL connect right there. So if we use that, I should be able to use, do a Drush SQL dash connect and there it gives me all of the information that I need such as my host which unfortunately it's got that H right there which is the flag in front of it but it's got my H my host it's got my user which is not inclusive of that U right there and then it also has my password which is not inclusive of that P right there so there's many different ways to get this information you can get it via Drush you can get it right off of the command line but the easiest is if you're using that um, tool, that FTP tool, and then simply just double clicking on the file. The file opens and then all the information is right there. So that's basically how I access all of my database information really quickly using my own preferred tool. So this has been Matt Petrowski for Got Drupal, creating this content for Omega 8. I love their services. If you're looking for a Drupal host, definitely take a look at signing up with Omega 8.cc.